if you have ever wondered at what point did fertilization take place or you want to be the first to know when you got pregnant or you want to know the signs to look out for in a person that just got pregnant then this video is for you as we'll be talking about the early signs of pregnancy channel my name is Ken Eve to my returning subscribers thank you so much if you are new here you are welcome please subscribe press on the bell icon button to get notified whenever I upload my videos now let's listen and learn there are variations to what uh, pregnant women feel when it comes to um, early signs of Pregnancy. This is because of uh, individuality of my different body makeup. So what I feel may be totally different from what you are going to feel. However, there are some signs that uh, may be inevitable when it comes to any signs of pregnancy. Number one, sporting. Now. Fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube is a tube that connects your womb to where your eggs are located. So this tube collects the egg and deposits it in your womb. But fertilization takes place in that fallopian tube. So if you release egg, the sperm will go there and meet up with it and fertilize it and the fertilized egg will now transport itself to your womb now when it gets to your womb uh, some part of it try to attach itself to the wall of your womb and this they may do by eroding the walls of your womb by so doing there may be seepage of blood resulting to you spotting. Mothers sometimes mistaking this to their normal monthly flu. This makes it difficult for them to ascertain at what point they got pregnant. So if you see yourself spotting before your next menstrual flu, and you know very well that this is not how your monthly flow used to be. It's heavier than what you are seeing now. Then you know you have to run a test to back it up that this may be pregnancy. Another sign to look out for is fatigue. This feeling of tiredness sleepiness this is as a result of uh, the surge in pregnancy hormones the progesterone so when they are active in the bloodstream they make you drowsy and you have this feeling of wanting to sleep every now and then so when you notice yourself sleeping too much you just woke up from sleep and you are still feeling sleepy. You are always tired. You are always drowsy. You just want to sleep the world away. Then you know you have to run some tests, especially when you uh, think back and remember that something happened between you and your husband during your ovulation period. Then you have to run a test to confirm it. The third sign to look out for is loss of appetite again due to the effect of the pregnancy hormones you may have this uh, 
sour taste okay um slightly metallic taste heightened level of smell so you notice this strange change in taste okay once this happens it may necessitate your inability to consume anything once this happens and you look back during your relation period you have something with your husband you may wish to run a test to confirm the pregnancy the next sign is cessation of menstrual flow of course this is what everybody look out for before they can say they are pregnant sometimes uh, one month is gone before you realize that I'm actually pregnant because you missed your menstrual flow. Although this may be a differential uh, diagnosis for women that used to have menstrual irregularity. So if you are in your reproductive age and you have never witnessed menstrual irregularity and you are not in any a contraceptive device then you have to run some tests to back it up that uh, this is actually pregnancy the next is breast tenderness and pain sometimes so due to the effects of the pregnancy hormone this pregnancy hormone will cause lots of problems. Okay, so due to the effect of pregnancy hormone, again, um, guys should pardon the pregnancy hormone. There is this breast fullness, okay? Um, so due to the effect of the pregnancy hormone, there is um, excessive blood supply to your breast area. There is increased blood supply. To your breast area causing this sense of fullness tenderness this tingling sensation and sometimes accompanied with sores and pain once this happens and you know very well that you don't feel this way during your ovulation uh, period or your menstrual period you know you need to run some tests to confirm if it's actually pregnancy so have other signs like abdominal bloating, okay, we have signs like mood fluctuations. This minute you are happy, uh, the next minute you are sad, you are crying, the other time you want someone around, most other times you just want everybody to get lost. You may have to check yourself and find out if you are incubating uh, Ebola and <laughs> find that if you are incubating something <laughs> another sign to look out for is vaginal uh, secretions okay due to uh, your womb now trying to prepare the place for the baby to stay this may cause lots of secretions and may be um, tripping out for the vagina. So if you notice excessive vaginal secretions that has no offensive odor, you may wish to run a test to confirm if this is actually pregnancy. There are lots of signs, but because of time, we may want to cut it short. So these are the signs and some other signs to look out for uh, in the early stages of one's pregnancy thank you so much for watching and i believe you'll find this video educating please share to your friends like comment tell me what you uh you observed or if you have other signs you can comment if you have questions please ask and again if you need a video on a particular topic also um, type it in the comment section and I will address it immediately. I'll see you in the next video.